I hope that the focus of the university administration is to come to the table with a reasonable salary offer. I'm here outside the University of Manitoba, where picket lines have formed as of 7 a.m. Tuesday morning. Teachers and faculty members have officially gone on strike over what they are calling an impasse on contract negotiations. According to the U of M's president, on August 5th, the University of Manitoba and the University of Manitoba Faculty Association began negotiations on a new collective agreement. Most recently, the U of M presented UMFA with a proposal that would see a 5.9% increase to general salaries and changes that on average would increase salaries 9.5% over the next two years. I think we've, I think we've made a, a very good offer. Um, I think it's a competitive offer, um, but I do think it's complex and takes a bit of time to understand. Michael Benarosh, U of M president and vice chancellor, believes the offer was rejected in part due to the nuances of the deal and the way salary increases were structured over a period of years instead of being offered immediately. In general, with these kind of deals, people want to see a lot of money up front on the table and ours is spread over a period of time. And, and that seems to have been an issue. Fair deal, fair deal. The government has been meddling in our bargaining and um, has imposed wage freeze legislation is that that's impacted how, who we're able to recruit and retain here at the university. Orvi Dingwall, UMFA president, says teachers want to get back to teaching as soon as possible in an effort to allow students to finish their terms without further disruption. However, Dingwall says the latest deal was not acceptable and a major issue in the negotiating process has been the involvement of government at the bargaining table. In a response to those allegations, Wayne Uesco, Minister of Advanced Education, says government is not at the bargaining table, adding, of course, no one wants a strike, but sometimes they do happen over demands on monetary and non-monetary issues. We urge both sides to continue realistic bargaining to avoid job action that will further disrupt students and families already dealing with the unprecedented impacts of the pandemic. We do recognize that students are, of course, impacted greatly by this. Savannah Sox, Vice President of Student Life with the University of Manitoba's Students' Union, says they are supporting UMFA in seeking what they call a fair deal. Sox has heard students are worried about the strike and wants them to know UMSU's main focus is supporting anyone who may be suffering as a result of the negotiations and strike action. If you're struggling with your mental health, with um, classes, with study material, anything like that, if you need any support from the union, um, that's exactly what we're here for. One point of agreement on both both sides of the negotiating table, however, is that more competitive salaries are needed if the university wants to recruit and retain top talent for the school moving forward. In Winnipeg, Mark Newfeld, City News.